What will happen if the hydrochloric acid is added to the sodium hydroxide solution of equal amount and concentration? What color do you expect to see? Let's recall what is happening. At the beginning, the test tube contains sodium ion and hydroxide ion in an aqueous solution. The color of the universal indicator shows that there are more hydroxide ions than hydrogen ions. As hydrochloric acid is added, the hydrogen ion from the acid will form water molecule when combined with hydroxide ions from sodium hydroxide solution. The chloride ion from the acid will form an ionic compound when combined with sodium ion from sodium hydroxide solution. As a result, there are no more hydrogen ion or hydroxide ion in the solution except water molecule and salt, a new ionic compound which are neutral. Such reaction, when an acid reacts with a base to form a salt and water, is known as neutralization. Neutralization has many applications. Most cultivated crops grow well in soil with pH around 7. To overcome the problem of acidic soil, calcium oxide, calcium hydroxide or calcium carbonate is used to neutralize the soil. Sheep, cattle and poultry rarers use calcium hydroxide to maintain sanitary condition by destroying the microorganisms involved in decomposition of organic waste as well as reducing odors. Factory effluents from electroplating and manufacturing industries are often acidic. If left untreated, it will pollute nearby streams, river or drain. Such effluent is neutralized by liming in the waste treatment plant before discharging it into the stream or river. In energy industry, power stations usually use coal to produce electricity. The burning fuels will liberate sulfur dioxide gas, which is acidic and pollute the air. The power stations treat this acidic gas using powdered lime or limestone to neutralize the gas. Decaying food particles in your teeth produces acid and causes tooth decay. Using toothpaste during brushing helps to neutralize the acid and prevent tooth decay, since toothpaste is an alkaline. Shampoos are mild alkaline which causes small scales on each hair which make your hair unmanageable. To solve the problem, you use hair conditioner. Hair conditioners are mild acid. When used, the acidity in the hair conditioner will neutralize the alkali and cause the scales to close up. Lemon is a mild acid. It can be used as an abrasive to clean stain on brass and bronze ornaments. The acid will react with copper 2 oxide on the surface to form copper 2 citrate and water. Our stomach produces hydrochloric acid during digestion process. Taking antacid will help neutralize the acid and reduce what is commonly known as heartburn. Antacid is an alkaline containing base like magnesium hydroxide and aluminium hydroxide. Bee sting contains acid. Bee sting can be treated using calamine lotion. Calamine lotion is an alkaline. It will neutralize the acid from the sting. Neutralization is a reaction between acid and alkali to form salt and water. We can simplify this into a word chemical equation. Let's learn how to write the chemical equation for neutralization one step at a time. These are your reactant hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide solution. Now, for the product, observe the animation. Next is to balance the equation. Now, let's write the chemical equation. From the equation, we know that one mole of sodium hydroxide solution reacts with one mole of hydrochloric acid to produce one mole of sodium chloride, a salt, and one mole of water, sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide solution. Now, for the product, observe the animation.
Next is to balance the equation. From the equation, we know that 2 moles of potassium hydroxide solution react with 1 mole of sulfuric acid to produce 1 mole of potassium sulfate, a salt, and 2 moles of water. In this lesson, you have learned that neutralization is a chemical reaction between an acid and an alkali producing salt and water. The definition can be expressed in a general chemical equation. Neutralization has many applications in our daily life, for example, in agriculture, health, and manufacturing industries.